Hello and welcome back to all our beautiful YouTube friends and wonderful subscribers. This is Staring It Up with me, your host, Tierra Monique. Well, welcome back. And we just want to do nothing but spread love and let you know that we're homing in from the beautiful West Coast, City of Angels, reaching out from here to the wonderful East Coast, saying hi to all our friends, bringing up all hot topics, political news, trending topics, people say the darndest, and do the darndest things. So sit down, grab a drink, grab a friend, and let's talk about it on the other side. You believe that we have the capacity to love people, but you, yeah, I don't trust you. So well, I mean, you, you know, you can't, you can't, I mean, it's not rational to trust. First of all, you shouldn't trust white people. And by that, I mean, as long as white people lead with whiteness, they can't be trusted because whiteness is the reason why in a race-based society, you can't trust white people. Once a symbol of the high rolling life of Donald Trump, but now his deserted Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City has come crashing down. Reduced to rubble. The Trump Plaza Hotel blown to smithereens by 3,000 sticks of dynamite. And it was quite a spectacle. I'd like to see the Trump name be blasted along with the building. The Trump name blasted? A key player in the travel industry is now saying, you got it. Washington Post headline, Trump hotels have been dropped by a major luxury travel agency network. The network is virtuoso, and their ban includes the Trump International in Washington, which was already struggling. Hallways, elegant but empty. Elevators running up and down only a handful of times, indicating a lack of traffic to and from the rooms. The next day, during a weekend brunch period, our employee observed the lobby area was lifeless. And that is a far cry from four and a half years ago when this Trump hotel opened. This is the most coveted piece of real estate in Washington, D.C., the best location. It boasted luxurious suites, a Himalayan salt chamber in the spa, foreign officials, business elites. But that Trump hotel in Washington, like some of his other properties, including the New Jersey casino that got demolished, well, many of these things are in trouble. And now a Trump tourist attraction in Texas is literally under attack. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Officials at a wax museum in San Antonio say they have removed a statue of former President Trump because visitors kept assaulting it. A spokesperson for Louis Tussauds Waxwork says museum visitors repeatedly scratched and punched the figure in the face. There were also indentations and scratches on other parts of the statue. Museum leaders say the damage was so severe they decided to take the Trump wax figure out of the gallery and place it in a storage unit. It's not clear when the Trump statue will be repaired or come back. According to Suzanne Smagala-Ponce, a spokesperson for the museum's parent company, Ripley Entertainment, quote, it's a presidential figure, it's just something that happens. Art critics say the figure was terrible to begin with, given the scowl on Trump's face and the clash with the thumbs up. Nonetheless, this is not the first Trump statue to get whacked. Last fall in Germany, workers at Madame Tussauds Museum in Berlin took their effigy of Trump out of the main gallery and placed it in a garbage dumpster. The staff said the move was a symbolic gesture. In a further insult, the staff made a point of noting that a wax statue of a smiling President Barack Obama remained in place. It may seem silly to attack Trump wax statues or decide you will never let a travel client set foot in a Trump hotel, but these actions do add up. And a few travel agents said the Trump D.C. hotel, like the wax figures, had it coming. A few years ago, the television show Inside Edition revealed the Trump International in Washington did not seem to be washing bathrobes in between guest visits. So gross. To be fair, the program did find that the Trump hotel cleaned and changed the sheets. Go figure. 
In any case, since January the 6th, when former President Trump encouraged a mob of his supporters who then stormed the U.S. Capitol, several of Trump's former business partners and clients have cut ties with his company. This includes lenders, bankers, insurance companies, lawyers, and the Professional Golf Association. Analysts say the angry human psyche often demands something more concrete, something you can literally put your hands on. So, given the hatred and loathing Trump sparked, perhaps nobody should be surprised that his hotels are suffering and that his wax figures are getting their eyes gouged. <laughs> it could be worse. All right, little bugs, that wraps it up for this edition of Stirring It Up with me, Tierra Monique. So what do you think about what they're doing to the wax museums? Uh, figurines here. Do you object or, or what? Please let us know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section because we do love when you share your opinion. If you like this video, please also hit the like and subscribe to become a love bug. So, until next time, and there will always be a next time. Do take care of yourself, okay? Bye.